What's going on guys? This is JT here. I am over here on the iOS server on my main account and squad showdown season has reset today. Thank goodness. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Now what I did was is I went ahead and put my free to play setup on the board. So this is what I used on my free to play account and went five for six. So I believe it's a solid setup. Now, if you don't like using Alchemist, you can replace Alchemist with the Angel right there, but I would definitely go with Scatter and Revive on those heroes. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the pay-to-play setup and see what we got. We have an Assassin, which is probably going to get used, especially if we got Self-Destruct coming up. So we got Life Drain and Revive. Okay, that Revive is probably going to get used. And we got a Life Drain and another Scatter. Alright, so yeah, I'm probably not going to use Assassin, actually, because there's no self-destruct, and there's also no, um, ooh, there is self-destruct? Oh, I'm tripping. I didn't even see there was self-destruct. There's self-destruct right here. Wow, okay. Hmm, so self-destruct could be an option, then. I didn't even realize self-destruct was a talent. Should I go with self-destruct up front? Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Let me think here for the pay to play setup. I'm definitely going to go ahead and probably use Executioner for the AoE heal. Yeah, let's go with this team right here, I'm thinking. Yeah, just all out DPS with self destruct coming up the middle. And we'll give the revive set on the self destruct as well. This is going to be a pretty powerful combo. I'm not sure if I should put Executioner up front or in the back, though, just because I want to gather his team up. Yeah, I guess I'll keep him up front. So we'll go with Revive and, hmm, should we go with Heavy Blow or Scatter? Do we want like crazy amounts of stun or do we want to take away energy? i say we'd probably go with Scatter and on Marksman, I was going to go with Scatter, but it's kind of hard not to go with the Full Life Revive. I think I'm going to have to go with that Revive right there and then probably Scatter. Yeah, scatter, scatter, revive, revive, just because, I mean, with green and blue heroes, reviving at 100% life is huge. Hopefully, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep the assassin right there up front or if I'm going to take her back and put her down low. I don't know. We'll see after a couple fights. Let's see what we got going on here. We're going to focus this executioner. Hopefully, we kill the executioner before the assassin even dies. Okay, so they're actually focused on my executioner, which is a good thing for me. That thing's going to die, revive. Here goes, ooh, that scatter from that assassin actually worked out perfectly. We still got the full revive on our marksman, so we are good to go. We'll take that first win. We will take that. What do we got here? We got, is this the same guy? I feel like Dark Archer. This is the same setup. I know that. I can't remember his name. I didn't even look, but if we play Dark Archer, he is facing my executioner again, so the same exact results should happen, and it looks like they did, except this time I have all three heroes alive. <laughs> Let's take that win as well. See what we got coming up next here. We got XX Vork XX. He has a Marksman Executioner and an Ice Demon. So we're going to be facing his Executioner here. Which it looks like... Oh, we're going to get that stun off. We did get the stun off. Now my Assassin's about to die to blow everything up. And it did not blow everything up. But that Marksman's in the back with the Clutch AoE. We will take that. Let's go ahead and keep going. We got Missing 24. This is a pretty solid setup right here for sure. We got a Marksman Angel in the back healing with a Executioner as well. And it looks like they are focused on my Marksman. Let's go ahead. Oh, we're going to get a stun out? No, we're not. Oh, this is trouble for me. I don't think we're going to get this win. Unless, unless we just do so much DPS that he can't do anything about it. Oh my gosh. All three heroes still alive right there. That's what I'm talking about, baby. What do we got going on here? The same type of setup. We got Executioner, Marksman, and an Angel. And he is focused on my Executioner again. That gummit, man. I can't get any stuns off. He has all kinds of scatter on this team. We need a big boy. Oh, that self-destruct was clutch. Is it going to be enough, though? I don't know if my Marksman has revived or not yet. And she just revived right there. And that was for the win. Nice. We will take that. That was a close match right there. That was the closest match we've had yet. So we are 5 for 6 right now. We need to get this last win right here for 6 for 6. Maybe I'll update the warehouse too to try to get one more. See what we got. We got a Cyclops Executioner and a Serpent in the back. This, this self-destruct from Assassin's about to blow up his whole squad right here. Watch when this Assassin blows up. Oh my gosh, is he even going to be able to kill the Assassin? Yeah, he is. But see you later, squad. Bloop. 
Nah, it wasn't that big of a blow up because we smashed this team anyway. All right, but we'll take that win. Six for six. Nice, easy six for six right there. If you're pay to play, definitely copy that. Let's go ahead and refresh so we can get Squad Showdown one time. And no love for the Squad Showdown, and I don't think I'm going to pay for any more refreshes. Anyway, guys, hope y'all enjoyed the video. Make sure y'all copy that setup if you're pay to play. And if you're free to play, I would suggest copying that setup I mentioned as well. But for now, I am out of here. Peace out, fellas.